Once upon a time, electric cars were criticized for not having enough range. But hey, those days are long gone, because some of today's EVs can actually cover much longer distances than their internal combustion counterparts. In this episode of Automotive Territory Daily News, we'll show you five of the longest range electric cars in existence. So subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and let's start the motors. Lucid Air Grand Touring Besides the already sold-out Dream Edition that offered 520 miles, the longest-range model in the Air lineup is the Grand Touring. This dual-motor all-wheel drive sedan is capable of producing 819 horses, accelerating to 16 pH in 3 seconds and covering 516 miles in one trip. Its 112 kWh battery pack supports DC fast charging, so it can regain 300 miles in 20 minutes. Plus, each unit comes with three years of complementary charging by Electrify America. Considered to be one of the most aerodynamic cars in the world, the Air offers 0.21 drag coefficient and has aircraft-inspired design. The WOW factor is further enhanced with the in-house developed intelligent micro-lens array headlights and sweeping speedform taillights. Inside, the Grand Touring features Nepal leather upholstery in four styles, has an all-glass roof and offers several smart screens, including a 34-inch curved 5K display. The Air is also expected to debut the next-generation driver assist system that relies on the high-resolution LiDAR and 32 different sensors. Mercedes-Benz EQ20 Still a prototype, the new EQ20 four-door coupe explores the future of battery electric technology and focuses on maximizing its efficiency. The car uses innovative and lightweight construction materials and has an extremely aerodynamic bodywork that is shaped like a teardrop. This allows to achieve a benchmark drag coefficient of 0.17. The model's drivetrain consists of a single rear-wheel drive motor rated for 204 horses and a 100 kWh battery. According to the spec sheet, the 900V pack is set to hold 620 miles of range and supports charging at 350kW. However, in the latest Mercedes experiment, the EQ20 managed to travel this distance on a single charge, with the range meter still showing 15% or 87 miles left. These numbers mean that the battery has unseen energy density and packs 7.1 miles per each kilowatt of its capacity. We should also mention that during this trip, the car was cruising at 87 miles per hour speeds when in autobahns. Other novelty features of the prototype include its 117 roof-mounted solar cells that can add 15 miles per day and a new generation one-piece 77-inch hyperscreen with the 8K resolution. Before we can continue, we will need you to smash the like button. It is absolutely crucial for the video to proceed. You have? Thanks for the like. We keep rolling. Tesla by One The latest versions of Tesla's flagship still utilize the previous generation 18650 cells with the traditional lithium-ion chemistry. This allows to squeeze out 400 miles from a 103 kWh battery and still ensure outstanding driving dynamics. However, these parameters start to seem obsolete once you take a look at the results of the Michigan startup One, also known as Our Next Energy. Their engineers are currently working on the cheaper, yet much denser LFP Ares modules with 79 kWh capacity, 3000 recharge cycles, and 287 watt-hour per liter density, which convert to 275 miles on a charge. Moreover, by 2023, one should have finished the development of the groundbreaking Gemini 001 battery with the high-energy cobalt nickel cells. Since the energy density reaches 416 watt-hour per liter, engineers managed to stuff 203.7 kWh worth of cells into the standard Model S battery casing. In real life, a Tesla powered by the Gemini 001 can cover 752 miles at the speed of 55 miles per hour. 
but on the downhill stand, an even more impressive record of 882 miles has already been set. Aptera Aptera took the first shot at revolutionizing the automotive world over a decade ago, but ultimately they failed due to running out of money. In 2019, the company was reformed under the original leadership of Chris Anthony and Steve Fambro as Aptera Motors Corp. This time, it will be a crowdfunded project and they will stick to the initial designs, though will utilize the latest technology developed during the hiatus. Translated from Greek as wingless flight, this two-seater looks like a flying saucer on three wheels, but at the same time, it offers superior passenger safety, ensured by the Formula One-inspired safety cell, advanced airbag, and composite technologies. The airplane fuselage of the Aptera Alpha has 0.13 drag coefficient and consumes only 100 watt-hour per mile. To cover all the possible scenarios of daily driving, this EV will be offered in front and all-wheel drive versions and for battery sizes 25, 40, 60, and 100 kWh. With the latter, the flagship of Terra claims the maximum range of 1,000 miles, which would make it the longest range EV in existence. This two-seater has three motors, can perform 0-60 to 60 sprints in 3.5 seconds, and tops out at 110 miles per hour. Finally, its solar array is set to restore up to 40 miles of charge per day, effectively covering the majority of daily commutes. Mercedes-Benz EQS Just as the internal combustion S-Class, this all-electric model is positioned as the flagship luxury car from the brand. It, however, abandons the typical sedan profile in favor of a liftback silhouette that has 0.2 drag coefficient, which is the lowest in any production vehicle that is already on the assembly lines. The model gets four iterations, including one from AMG, but today we'll be talking about the mid-range EQS 450+. This rear-wheel drive is powered by a single motor that returns 329 horses, 419 pound-feet, and has 130 miles per hour top speed. Unlike the entry-level EQS 350 that has a similar setup, it gets a larger 107 kWh battery pack that is rated for 350 EPA miles. This may not seem like a lot, but according to the admin's car portal, in the real world, the car can cover 422 miles, which means whopping 72 miles more than promised by the official spec sheet. The cabin of the model packs a 15-speaker Burmester audio, a responsive 12.8-inch infotainment with voice command, and a 12.3-inch digital cluster. I personally believe that electric cars do not require ranges over 200 miles, since the majority of our commutes barely exceed 30 miles a day. However, I'm still eager to hear you out in the comment section below. What range would be sufficient for you? Smash the like button and subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News. More content is on the screen. May the torque be with you and glory to Ukraine!